It's Wednesday, March 18th, and here's a look at what News 2 is working on for you today. Here in South Carolina, there are 47 COVID-19 cases. The state Senate approved $45 million in emergency funding to fight the coronavirus. That money will go toward additional employees, overtime, protective equipment, and a public education campaign. Roper St. Francis Healthcare says two patients tested positive for COVID-19. One test came back positive after one patient went home to another state. The other patient was admitted. Both patients are now in isolation. Starting today, no dine-in services allowed at restaurants and bars in South Carolina. The governor's executive order only allows takeout and delivery amid the coronavirus pandemic. Three Charleston County deputies are in self-quarantine this morning. The sheriff's office says one deputy quarantined himself, along with two others that work with him after a family member felt sick. The family member does not have the virus. COVID-19 can remain infectious on plastic and steel surfaces for up to three days. A new study found how long the virus survives depends on the kind of surface it contaminated. It can also linger in the air for up to three hours. Carlton County school buses are taking meals to students along regular bus routes. Each grab-and-go bag available to any student that has breakfast and lunch items. Buses will start their routes at 9 this morning. And Meals on Wheels of Somerville is looking for healthy people under the age of 60 to help deliver meals. The organization plans to deliver five meals every Monday. The organization also plans to call people who receive meals every other day to make sure they're all right. Count on News 2 for latest on air and online at CountOn2.com. In Charleston, I'm Kate Prestak, Count On 2.